Hi, I'm Joel Rosenberg, co-founder and chairman of the Joshua Fund. And I'm Lynn Rosenberg, also co-founder of the Joshua Fund. And our mission is to bless Israel and her neighbors in the name of Jesus. We've been deeply moved by the critical needs that Israelis, Palestinians, Lebanese, and others in the region have been experiencing during this terrible year of war and terror. As we close 2024 and as we head into 2025, we'd like to invite you to participate in a unique opportunity to bring God's light and love to those being traumatized by the ongoing conflict in Israel and the broader Middle East. We realize that things will hopefully get better as we go into 2025, but right now we are still in a time of war. Uh, Your generous and gracious support enables the Joshua Fund to provide crucial humanitarian aid, offer hope, and strengthen followers of Jesus who are reaching out to their communities with unconditional love in this challenging time. Yes, after more than 430 days of war, the needs are still truly urgent. And that's why we're so grateful for your prayers and your financial help. These things allow the Joshua Fund to continue extending the love of Jesus to families in crisis, refugees who are still displaced, looking for safe places to live for their families, and vulnerable communities who need to know that they're not alone. Your gift, whatever the amount, can make a lasting impact in the lives of those who are longing for peace and security. Thanks to friends like you, the Joshua Fund is providing monthly food packs as well as hygiene kits to hundreds of impoverished Israeli families who are especially struggling through this war. We've also been able to help our ministry partners renovate more than 100 bomb shelters in need of repair, urgent need of repair. Mm -hmm. And we've supplied them with wartime essentials like medical kits, portable power banks, flashlights, and uh, radios to help them navigate the daily uncertainties of war and terror. Your gifts allow us to continue this work and to expand our support to families and ministry leaders who need the resources and they need the encouragement right now. As we look ahead, I'd like to ask you to consider joining us as a monthly supporter of the Joshua Fund. Obviously, we don't know exactly what the next year will hold, but we do know that there'll be continued uh, Israelis, Palestinians, and others in urgent need of food, shelter, medicine, trauma counseling, Mm -hmm. and more. And your faithful and consistent partnership allows us to meet those immediate needs as well as plan for critical long-term expansion of the ministry in the epicenter. Thank you so much for your prayers, for your heart of compassion for Israel and her neighbors. Together, we can continue to bless people in ways that will truly change their lives. You can make a difference today by visiting joshuafund.com. Again, that's joshuafund.com and clicking on the banner for this year-end opportunity. And remember, any gift that you make before midnight on December 31st is tax deductible for this year. On behalf of the Joshua Fund board and staff, Lynn and myself, (laughs) uh, including those on the front lines of the war, thank you. Thank you so much. And may God bless you as you bless Israel and her neighbors in the name of Jesus. 